Today we're going to look at this RF attenuator, the RA1728A, and we're going to test it on the spectrum analyzer and see if it gives us the 82 dB um, attenuation we're expecting it to do and whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's only rated to 0.25 of a watt and it is um, supposedly capable of 0 to 250 megahertz. So we'll see what happens, shall we? Let's start by setting up the spectrum analyzer. We're going to need a stop frequency of 250 MHz. We're going to need the tracking generator turned on. And we want to zero that. So we'll store and normalize. That's fine, but I want our 0 dB level to be up higher, so let's go for a um, reference position of say 90. Okay, zero's up there. We should be able to see any attenuation down there. Right, so that's set up. Let's just connect the attenuator into the circuit. So we'll disconnect a quick little short. Connect the attenuator in. And we can see by looking that we don't really have a straight line anymore on the spectrum analyzer. See a slight curve into it. It won't be the cables, it could be the connectors, and it could just be the attenuator. But anyway, let's start some tests. We can start by setting a marker at the halfway mark. So marker and normal 125 meg. There it is there. And it shows us already at 125 meg, we've got about minus 2 dB. But, there it is. Okay, now I'm going to switch in the 20 dB end of the circuit. And we'll have a look. And that's what we're seeing. Bit of a slope, the 125 meg mark, it's minus 17 dB. We'll throw in the rest of the attenuators, which should give us minus 82 dB, and we look at our results. Minus 82 would be down here, down at the bottom. We're not seeing anything like that. It's also interesting to note the slope. Um, which tells us that at the top at 250 megs we're, around, we're less than minus 18 dB. So let's just change the frequency, top frequency, let's just change that to say 50 megahertz and yeah, it's still not right is it? 82 will be way down here. That's there. Alright, we'll switch the attenuators out of the circuit. There we have 20 dB in, and we're fairly flat, 20 dB up to 50 megahertz. Okay, shall we try a little higher? Let's go to 100 megahertz. <coughs> and we're looking at minus 20, and that's looking fine. Let's go 150 megahertz, and we're starting to lose some of our slope. So 200 megahertz, it's up 
more than I would have liked if we select our marker and yeah it's fairly accurate up to 100 meg certainly not accurate at all up to the 250 meg as advertised Let's go for the benefit of the doubt. We'll take it back down to 50 meg. And let's um, switch some more in. 20, 40. That's supposed to be another 20. Should take us to 60. And it's the rest of the small values, they're not making much impact at all. So if we start removing the top ones, at this point we've got 22 dB in there and it's showing 22 dB let's start take away 10 dB yep there's 12 knock 6 out of that so there's 6 left 3 dB that's sitting 3 dB 1 dB and back to baseline so all in all, low frequency and very low rating, 0.25 of a watt, not something I'll be comfortable with in my shack.